It's this is my body which was broken for you. Drink, this is my blood which was shed for you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. For my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed. Oh yeah, the cup of blessing which we bless. It's the communion of the blood of Christ. The bread which we break. It's the communion of the body of Christ. Amen. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11 As for thee by the blood of thy covenant I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein there is no water. Amen. How have the prisoners come out of the pit? I can't hear you. How have the prisoners come out of the pit? How have the prisoners been sent out of the pit? By what? By the blood. Now, which pit? That is the pit of hell. We are all supposed to go to the pit of hell. How many here have told a lie before? Let's say more than 100 lies. How many have stolen something before? How many have eaten something you shouldn't eat? How many have been jealous before? How many have fought before? How many have fought blows before? Sisters. How many have done bad things before? Degrees in bad things. But now, you are supposed to be sentenced to the pit. But the Bible says in Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11, as for thee also by the blood of thy covenant I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. Remember when the rich man went to hell? What did he say? I pray thee, send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in what? Water. So this pit has no water. It's a waterless pit. One day I watched a film, Clint Eastwood. In that film, somebody was shot and the person was dying. Just as the, that's how I saw the film. The actors were really, they knew what they were doing. As the person was dying, he started to ask for water. He was bleeding. He said, I need, I need water, I need water. I need water, and then he died. So when you are bleeding, you, you, you start to need water. So, Today, instead of going to that pit, oh, by the blood, you are out. In Jesus' name, stand to your feet. Lift your bread up. Father, we thank you for the, the bread, the body of Jesus Christ, which is broken for us. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Let the brokenness of the body be the reason for the healing of our bodies. Any breaking, broken part of our bodies is healed by this broken body of Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus Christ. Now take the blood, the wine. By this blood, every trap, every pit, every hellfire, every Gehenna, every lake of fire, you have escaped it. By the blood, the blood of Jesus. Lift your hands for your blessing. Lift your hands. 
May you walk free from every chain. Every trap you are falling into, you are coming out free. You are coming out free. You are coming out free. free. With no damages. In the name of Jesus. Every snake that has bitten you with venom, I declare the poison in your life is neutralized in the name of Jesus. Every foul bed that has landed on you to pluck your eyes out, to pluck your brains, to take from you that bed, that flying creature is rebuilt today. In the name of Jesus. Let me hear your loudest amen. Amen. Receive freedom. Say I receive it. Receive freedom. Receive deliverance. May your hands always be lifted up in victory. May your hands be lifted up in joy. This week, may you find things that make you genuinely happy and joyful. Let me hear your loudest amen. Whatever makes you cry, whatever makes you sad, what makes you have sleepless nights, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. From today, your sleep will be sweet. May God lift up your head in every crisis and in every difficult situation. In the name of he who lay in the grave and said I shall arise after three days. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your head is lifted up. In Jesus name. Let me hear your loudest amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Your head is lifted up. 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 up. Amen. Take your offering. 